Looking like a snickety snack first thing in the morning. Looking like you just wake up breathing flowers. Looking like you just... If you want, yes, my man is acting right today. If you want, mm, I woke up like this. Ah, flawless. I got you. Stay tuned. So first you want to start off with a clean, moisturized base. Um, I'm going to add some chapstick because my lips are chippity chat. And we're not going to bring that into 2018. <laughs> so the first thing I like to start with is an illuminating base. So one of my favorites is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. And sometimes I go between using this as a base or just mixing it in with my foundation. And so, I'm going to use it as a base today. And I like this because it works with the foundation. To kind of just give you that natural skin-like finish. So this illuminator does not have glitter or anything like that it's just a nice a nice sheen so next I'm going to go in with the makeup forever step one um, skin equalizer to mattify my nose so all the products I'm using are the, what works best for me and my skin type you have to know your own skin type to know if this product list will be the best for you. Let's say, for instance, you're super oily. You might not want to start off with an illuminating base. It might be best for you to just have a mattifying primer. Or if you're dry, you might not want to have a mattifying primer at all. That might bring out dry patches in your skin or whatever the case may be. So, so just know your skin and swap out the products to, to, to match your needs. Okay, so th this isn't like bible so do what works for you all right so now that that's done i like to use my l'oreal brow definer and i like this because it's a nice micro pencil and so it's easy to draw little hair like strokes and so the point of this isn't to get my brows super fleeky I just want them to look like they're there. <laughs> I want them to be decent, you know? Having a natural face and sharpie eyebrows um, isn't really the look I, I want to go for. <laughs> I mean, some people like it, so it's whatever floats your boat, but personally, I just... I want my eyebrows to look like hairs and to match the rest of my face. So next I'm going in with my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. It's a semi-matte formula so it will also help to give you that skin-like finish. So if you guys haven't noticed, the whole point is to look skin-like. <laughs> I want my face to look as natural as possible and this foundation is really good for that they claim that it's like medium to full coverage lies it's only medium you can build up as much as you want medium So next we're going in with concealer and I like to use the MAC Select Cover Up. And I like this because of the finish that it gives. And it's just really soft and it doesn't cake up under the eyes. And it's not drying. So I'm going in lightly just to brighten the area a bit. And now I'm going to lightly dust some Ben Nye Banana Powder underneath my eyes. 
to give it a hint of brightness to just make you look naturally awake but we don't wash it up here highlighted just want to put enough to make sure that you set your under eyes so that doesn't crease just gonna lightly do the rest of my face and then I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder and I love this powder because um, it reminds me of the MAC MSF powder the mineralized skin finish um, in terms of that basically it's sheer it um, gives you a little bit of coverage it's not if you want color that's really not what it's there for um, it will just lightly set your makeup um, it's a semi matte finish as well once again skin like um, and it won't have you out here looking super matte so like I said if you are an oily person this may not be the best powder for you, you might want something that's going to keep you a little more matte drop a day but for me that is why I use the makeup forever primer to help counteract <clears throat> all the other illuminating products I'm using So you can stop there, but sometimes you want a little bit of snatchness, you know, even if you're going for the no makeup makeup look, you want to be a little snatched. So I'm going to use this Maybelline 360 um, press powder in the shade Mocha. And I love this because the color is, it's, I don't know, it's just a great color. And I'm just going to lightly, just lightly enhance those contours in my face. I mean, just because it's a no makeup makeup look doesn't mean I have to like a potato, okay? I like to be snatched <laughs> regardless, okay? All right. So now I'm going to go in with a liquid illuminator. And I'm going to use this to highlight. So I already set my face with the powder, but because it is a sheer fop, <laughs> so because it is a sheer powder, I'll still be able to make this blend into my skin. So um, most of the time I go back to the Revlon, um, but sometimes I like to change it up and I am using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. So I have it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna warm it up and start blending it out so that's easier to apply on my cheeks. I feel like your girl is just naturally glowy, okay? I apologize, I'm not giving you guys a finger. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. All right, so just a natural pregnancy glow without the pregnancy. Okay. I'd be like, girl, you been, you been eating your greens, girl. Cause you was a glowing. Use a glowing. They in your greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> oh god. And because I'm extra as hell, we're gonna put a little bit right here. Look. Look. Shine bright like a diamond. Y'all know that's that's my that's my life song, okay? It's my life song. Enhance that cupid's bow just a bit. If you want, you can go just a little bit under the brows. Looking like a Victoria's Secret model, okay? Yes, honey. I tried to find a mascara that was not super volumizing, um, but something that just makes your lashes a bit darker, maybe will lengthen a bit more. Because I go for clumpy mascaras and 
they kind of double as eyeliner so i was trying to avoid that <laughs> for the sake of this video oh sorry and this is the dior iconic overcurl okay just something simple you know something to snatch the lashes real quick okay <laughs> All right, then I'm going to finish it with a little bit of lipstick. This is the Milani Teddy Bear. Then I'm going to top it with my Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Enamored. Dang, hey, I'm struggling with this gloss though. I don't want it to be too glossy or have too much color. <laughs> oh, your girl glowing. I'm going to douse my face in the Max Fix Plus. Um, if you are oily, you might want to use Urban Decay D Slick Spray as well. And this will just really help the powders to really sink into the skin and like melt together. And this is it. This is my no makeup makeup look. How to look basic AF, okay? How to look average, all right? How to look like everybody else. So let me know what you guys think in the comments bar and I will see you in the next video. Toodles! You just woke up like this, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. All right. First of all, I'm not Fat Albert. I'm Fat Jamima. All right. I'm going to show you how to achieve this basic AF makeup. No makeup. <laughs> okay. First of all, I'm going off tangent. Basic AF everyday. No, damn. It's not everyday makeup tutorial. Shit. I'm going to show you how I went from ugly to basic. Damn, saying it out loud just really depressed me. Who do I think I am, bro? Um, who? Alright. I'm canceling myself. Throw the whole body away.